The nation's unemployment rate dropped from 9.7 to 9.5 percent in June. While that may sound like a good thing, joblessness is still painfully high. More than four and a half million people were looking for work last month. So we still have a great deal of work to do to repair the economy and get the American people back to work. That's why we're continuing a relentless effort across multiple fronts to keep this recovery moving. Some 652,000 people gave up on their job searches last month and left the labor force. That means they are not counted as unemployed, thus the drop in the unemployment rate. Businesses did add a net total of 83,000 workers in June, but it's estimated the economy must create at least 200,000 jobs to quickly bring down the jobless rate. And for people like Bakram Maskanium, the jobs that are available aren't what they used to be. Hardly you find a job that is a permanent job. Everybody's looking to get you to have you do what you're supposed to do within a couple of months, and then they get rid of you. Temporary jobs may be a sign of the times. 225,000 census jobs were eliminated last month as expected. It's okay, like I, I used to work in retail many moons ago and around Christmas time they would hire a lot of people because they thought, well, let's throw a lot of people on the floor. Well, they did that with the census this time around. Another stumbling block for the recovery is the number of people that have stopped receiving unemployment benefits. Senate Republicans have blocked an extension that would have kept the checks flowing. We're talking about 1.2 million people that have lost their benefits. What that means is that mom and pop drug stores, grocery stores, a gasoline station, they're not going to be able to, to keep their doors open if people aren't coming in and buying their goods. Of data and developments this week, all of which pointed to slower growth in the months ahead. Mark Hamrick, The Associated Press.